So the movie story begins by showing a boy whose name was Adrian. He was very upset. He was sitting on the floor with a stick. Actually, his friend, whom he loved a lot, leaves him and goes away. He has also recorded a video message and sent it, in which he says that you and I can't live together now. Anyway, there is nothing right between us. So I want to end the breakup relationship with you. Now Adrian gets very upset after hearing his message, because he used to like him a lot, and also goes to a bar where he drinks a lot. He drank so much that now he doesn't even stay in his senses. He couldn't even walk from there. Then a working girl comes to take care of him in the bar. Whose name is Fabiana? Adrian can't even drive his car. So that's why Fabiana takes him to her house. When he wakes up in the morning after sleeping at night. So he went home without talking to Fabiana. This seems very strange to Fabiana. She thinks that I helped her at night. She didn't even thank me. But soon in the evening, Adrian found out about his mistake. That he should have thanked Fabiana. He helped her last night. When he goes to meet Fabiana in the bar in the evening. So soon they become friends. Because he was alone and he also needed a friend. Their friendship had become so good. That Fabiana quickly shifts to Adrian's house. They had started a separate relationship. They started liking each other. One morning when Fabiana was brushing in the bathroom. She hears someone's voice from the wash basin. When she tries to listen carefully. She doesn't understand anything. When Fabiana comes down. She sees some plates scattered on the table. When she tries to pick them up. That's when Adrian came. Who says. Please don't touch all these things. In the meantime. The doorbell rings. When they see. Two police officers had come outside. Who wanted to find out about Adrian's first friend. Who was missing for two days. Those officers suspected Adrian. That he might have killed him and hidden him in the house. But Adrian now shows them his video message, which his friend had sent him, that he is leaving him. Seeing this, the officers leave his house. Now one of these two officers is Fabiana's friend. He says to her, are you okay living with this man? His old friend is missing. It's only been two days, and you have become such good friends with him. Although Adrian used to like him a lot, you should stay away from this man. I don't feel good. Fabiana also started thinking after hearing all this. But on the one hand, she has greed in her heart. She wanted a rich, handsome, beautiful boy like Adrian, with whom she lived and spent her whole life. So whatever she says, she decides to stay with Adrian. Now a few days pass like this. There are some strange things happening with Fabiana in Adrian's house. One day when she was bathing, hot water started coming out of the shower. Due to this, her corpse also burns. When she was sitting in the bathtub for one night, then suddenly the water starts vibrating. Now she was even more scared of this. She started feeling that there is a ghost in Adrian's house. When she tells this to Adrian about this, then she does not believe her. He says that there is nothing like this in my house. Now like this, one day Fabiana gets a key in a chain from her house, which she had worn around her neck. She was wearing it as a locket. She was feeling very good. Then suddenly the light of the house turns off. Fabiana was feeling someone's presence from below. Then someone attacks her. After a while, Adrian also came. He picks up Fabiana and makes her sit. And gives water. Now she was even more scared. Adrian says, don't be afraid. The one who attacked you is not a human. In fact, he is my dog who lives here. That's why you don't need to be afraid. The next day, Adrian gets a call from a police officer. Who says that we have found a dead corpse. And we suspect that it may be your friends. That's why you have to come and check it. Now when they both go to see. Then Adrian gives that dead corpse and says. No, this is not my friend's dead corpse. On which Fabiana was a little scared. And gets angry. Adrian was also understanding what was in his heart. He says. Look, you don't have to worry. If this happens. Whether my friend is alive or back. I will not go back in my life. Now I can't look back. You will always be in my life. Hearing this, Fabiana was happy. They both stand in front of a mirror. It was a mirror from the outside. But there was a girl inside. Whose condition was very bad. She was looking at these two. Who was no one else but Adrian's friend. Whom he liked. Who was missing for many days. Who had also sent a video message to Adrian. That nothing is right between us. That's why I'm leaving you. But now she was trapped in Adrian's house. She is locked in a room across the mirror. The mirror was visible from the outside. 
but from inside, it was a room where Adrian's friend Fabiana was standing and watching her, but no one could see from the outside. From inside, everything in the house will be visible, but a person standing outside cannot see inside. Adrian's friend's condition was very bad. The story flashback from here. It is shown a little earlier. How did this girl get stuck here? Adrian is shown. His friend whose name is Belen. He was very happy with him. Adrian has an orchestra in this city, which controls the music with the gestures of the hands. He got a job in a musician band. That's why he shifted to this house with Belen. They both were living happily. Adrian's habit was to be free from every girl. One day, Belen sees him with a girl. After that, he started doubting her. One day, she was drinking tea. A lady comes and sits next to her, who was the owner of his house, where they both used to live. Belen is very sad and tells that lady, Adrian breaks my trust. Although I love her very much, I feel sad when I see her with someone else. Hearing this, she says, so what is the need to worry about this? You can test your love. Come on, I'll show you something. She puts a key on the side of Belen's room and cupboard and opens a door, behind which there was a secret room. Her condition was not good. But for a man, all facilities were there. That lady says that my husband was in the army. So that's why she got this secret room made for herself. So if you want to test Adrian's love, then you can end your relationship with him, and stay in this room for two or three days. This will let you know, whether he loves you or not. How much does he care about you? Belen likes this idea very much. She now packs all her things, and records a video message for Adrian, that I am leaving you. She came and locked herself in this room. But after a while, Belen remembers, that the key with which this door opens, it was left outside. Belen was very upset. Now she wanted to call Adrian quickly, but there were no signals in the phone. Belen was standing from inside. She was able to see everything. She also calls Adrian a lot, but neither her voice goes out. Nor was he able to see her. The person standing outside can only see the glass. Belen was completely stuck inside. Adrian who was sitting outside. He was remembering her and crying. And this was the same scene. Which we saw at the beginning of the story. But after a while. Adrian got Fabiana. After seeing this. Belen is even more sad. She thinks that Adrian loved me a lot. So how can he deceive me like this? I thought that after my disappearance. He would care a lot about me. But nothing of this sort happened. So Adrian's friend Belen got stuck here like this. Who is still living like this? So the story comes back to the present time. Belen was able to see everything from inside. She sees Fabiana, who wakes up in the morning and goes to the bathroom to brush. Whom again the sound was coming from the hole of the wash basin. And here we come to know, that those sounds are not of anyone else, but it was Belen. Who often used to say like this. And used to trouble Fabiana. Because in Adrian's life, Fabiana had taken her place. She used to cool the water of the bathroom to annoy him. Sometimes hot. With all these things, Fabiana was annoyed. She tells Adrian, that there is a ghost in your house. Why don't you understand what I am saying? But Adrian doesn't believe anything she says. One day when Fabiana was alone at home, so she fills water in the wash basin and says, Tell me who are you? Are you a ghost? She asks another question. Or is it a human? Then the water starts vibrating. We see that in the same secret room. Belen was hitting something hard on the water pipe. Because of which the water starts vibrating. Fabiana had realized this. That there is a human in this house. Who is trapped in trouble? Who can see him? Now when she goes to the room. So there was Adrian's dog. Who was trying to open the glass. Because there was the same dog. Who knew that Belen is trapped behind this glass. After seeing all this. She came to know, that Adrian's friend is trapped behind this glass, and she needs help. After this, when she checks the cupboard in the room, so she gets a lock, which could be opened with a key, with the same key, which she wore as a locket around her neck. When she tries to put that key in the lock, then she stops. Her heart's greed had stopped her, because she knew this, that a rich boy like Adrian, will get away from her old love. That's why she doesn't open the door, and changes the room. When Adrian comes home, he is surprised to see his room changed, and he was a little upset. After seeing Fabiana, he feels that he is upset because of his friend. The next morning, Fabiana's police officer friend comes home, the one who had told about Adrian before, 
that he is not a good person. He brings Fabiana, and shows her pictures with Adrian's girlfriend. After seeing this, Fabiana understood, that Adrian is not a good boy. She goes to the wash basin again, and asks him again, who are you? But now there is no answer. Fabiana was scared, that Adrian's friend might have died, because he disappeared. It had been two weeks. Now she slowly moves towards that cupboard. When she opens the door with the key, she was in a very bad condition inside. A little ahead, she finds the rolling pin unconscious. When she goes to her, and tries to wake her up, the rolling pin goes and hits something in Fabiana's head. She was unconscious there, she leaves him and comes out. Now the rolling pin had the key to that door. She had come out, as the first rolling pin was locked, and Fabiana was locked in that room. The rolling pin sticks a picture of her and Adrian on the same mirror. She had also kept the key on the bed in front of the mirror. Now when Adrian comes home, his dog gives him the key, and looks at the picture stuck on the mirror. Fabiana was now trapped behind that mirror, where there was a rolling pin. Fabiana's greed got her trapped, behind that person who never cared for anyone. Adrian who was now worried, that Fabiana is also missing, and the police will doubt her again, and this time maybe they will catch her, or Adrian will find out, if Fabiana is trapped behind that mirror, showing this suspense. Our film's story ends here. Thanks for your time.